All the all the grains, the little the little grains, they, they burst open, and then it's cooked. All right. So that's our staple grain. Instead of rice, instead of uh, uh, quinoa, which is a lot more expensive, you have millet. Has millet has protein? It has up to twenty percent protein by weight. And millet is good for people that want to have a long, healthy life. They want to have a short, miserable life. They want to have a long, healthy life. Highly recommended. Uh, because native people use this as a staple grain. South India is used in the villages. It's used as a staple grain. In, uh, in uh, East Africa, it's used as a staple grain. And uh, even in, in northern India, they use it for making rotis. Yes, actually, uh, I remember my grandfather, they used to have only millet, not the wheat. Not right, not, not wheat. Not wheat, it came later. Yeah. Yeah, well, wheat became a major industrialized farm uh, agri agriculture. But millet was uh, for native people because they knew it was the test grain. They knew it generation to generation. The wheat, you know, came in and sort of corrupted it. Okay, so now we need another bowl. We'll make a salad with some cereal. <laughs> and we'll make it with grated daikon, which is a medicine. Very good for digestion. It's a root. It's like turnip or uh, radish. It's a radish. Okay, well, put a good amount of. I will get the whole thing. This is very good for digestion. It's used extensively in Japan, far as Eastern countries, and, and in India. And it's very good when it's uh, grated like this. percent vitamin A, 40 percent vitamin C, 8 percent calcium, 510 percent vitamin K, 40 percent folate, and 15 percent iron. This little thing here. <laughs> so, should eat spinach every day. Now, I don't think we have to wash this, do we? It's pre-washed. Huh? Huh? So, okay, let's see. Make it right. Go chop it up. Not the whole pot. Uh, uh, one, one third. Okay, so spinach is a super green. And we're going to put some, self, uh, some cucumber. And we're going to put a little bit of celery also. Celery, you can heal arthritis just with celery. If you eat four of these branches a day. So full of of uh, minerals. Let's see what it says here. Fifteen percent vitamin C, four percent calcium, four percent vitamin A, two percent iron, seven percent dietary fiber. So if anybody who has diabetes, they need a lot of dietary fiber in their uh, diet every day. 
So you get that from kidney beans and, and uh, chickpeas. And most of the beans have a lot of dietary fiber. But so does celery. Now, how to eat celery in different ways. You can eat it just like this. But it's good to cut it very thin. Cut a couple of stalks. People juice celery also. C-E-L-E-R-Y. Like I said, you eat four of these a day. Every day, it will cure arthritis. What people like to do sometimes as a snack, they'll make uh, some pesto or some kind of uh, dip, and they eat it with the celery. salt and water, I mean oil, to, to protect it, to, so it doesn't it as a preservative. So we will add, okay, now to get a little bowl, and wash this with water to get some of the salt out. From there to get this one. You can buy it in Maya. Uh, Bellevue. Okay. Go wash this. Any way to get the seaweeds fresh right away, the way we get vegetables? Yeah, you go to Wachi Mine. What do you think? Yeah. This is in a package. Okay? And it's like 10 different seaweeds. But you can buy the fresh. But fresh smells just like fish. Right now. You have to know how to prepare it, otherwise you won't like it. Uh, you can cook with it. Uh, in fact, we should have a special, <laughs> special demonstration of cooking with seaweeds. Alright, so now we have green, white, and red. Okay? Beginning to look interesting. Okay, then you can cut like this. Good. 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 Good.
Okay. Well, now, here's our series. Okay. And they have, there's a variety, about 10 different series. All different shapes, colors. Okay, so when you don't know how to, how to use it, you want to eat it fresh and say, I want to eat this fresh. If you can smell it and see what it smells like. So it's got to be uh, worked into something. You, you would probably eat it once and not a second time. It's like a beach, like, like a dead crab. Yeah. Oh, like a fish. Like a dead fish. Can you remove smelling like that? And they just don't like the smell. Just like what you are on the right corner of the beach. How? Who be zoo beach? Here, you can see something else. We have made a photo of zoo beach right away. Okay, so no more of this. Alright, so now we have three things here so far. We have the spinach, red peppers, pepper, peppers, and daikon. Okay. Now we have cucumbers. According to my dietary suggestions, and every meal, half the meal should be a salad, like this. Now we have cucumbers, daikon, spinach. Prabhuji, okay. they substitute for seaweed to the extent that this type of smell sometimes... No, you take the capsules, there's no smell. <laughs> That's why we sell the capsules. <laughs> Without the capsules, you would have to, you would have to eat this. But seaweed is extremely healthy because it, all the minerals, you know, much more minerals in the sea than on the land. Okay, so now we're going to. Did she cut up the celery? Okay, it's the celery. So now we have a pretty, pretty healthy salad. And all good things for health. You get a nice uh, synergy of chlorophyll and antioxidants. Vitamin C. Oh yeah. Uh, this. Anything red like that? Full of antioxidants. Okay. So now, I'm gonna get a little bit of salt in it. Not much. A little bit. We'll finish it off with olive oil. Lemon is optional, and we'll put some spices in it. Let me get the spices. Should be on the ground. Yeah, another secret ingredient, nutritional yeast. This is edible nutrition. It's not the same yeast that you use to make bread. We spoke about this previously. It's nutritional yeast. Now, this gives a nutty flavor, and it 
full of B vitamins. Let's see what it says here. It says iron 2%, thiamine B1, 180%, riboflavin B2, 160%. That means 160% of the, of the daily required uh, amount for you know, normal human beings. Niacin B3, 70%. Pyridoxine, B6, 140%. Folic acid, 40%. Vitamin B12, 40%. Antithenic acid, 30%. Zinc, 6%. Selenium, 10%. These are the type of things, you know, people tell you, doctor tells you, oh, you need selenium. Go to the you know, vitamin shop, buy some selenium. Oh, no, here it is right here. In natural form. This is grown on beets. It, it, it's a, you know, it's yeast, right? so they, they grow it on something, so usually it, it can grow on different things, but this is grown on yeast, and it's a superfood, definitely a superfood. So, so we'll put a 